Hey there, folks. Welcome to another exciting estate sale edition of This Week in Thrifting. We're gonna do some shopping, we're gonna find something cool, and we're going to see if WorthPoint can help us figure out what it may be worth. So let's get shopping. Let's start here in the office. Honestly, I cannot believe what I am seeing. Look at this vintage computer mouse. I honestly haven't seen something like this since I was a little kid poking around in my dad's home office, which is something I definitely wasn't supposed to be doing. If we flip it over, we can conveniently see some handy dandy search terms. So let's do a search for Logitech TrackMan mouse and see what comes up. Now, we aren't seeing tons of results for the exact same model. We're seeing this circular shaped design, but not the square one that we have here at the estate sale. Oh, if we keep going, here's a listing for two of the, the square design, two for $10, not a ton of profit there. But since this listing says 1989, maybe we can add that to our search just to see if it helps clarify our results. Now that we've added that year to our search, we've got three hits, and all of them are this exact mouse. Now, according to these two listings, if it's new and it's in the box, maybe you can sell for between 25 and 30 bucks. That's not too bad. But if it's not in the box, maybe not reselling for quite so much. The good news is there aren't a ton of hits for this exact same design. So maybe this design is a bit rare. Perhaps it's older than the others that are out on the market right now. You never know. Maybe there is a die-hard computer collector out there who is willing to pay more because they are looking for this exact mouse and because they're a little bit harder to come by. Now, let's look in the kitchen. Lots of cool items here, especially this little picture. I love the color, I love the design. So I'm just gonna do a search for Terra Rose Tulip Pitcher. And let's see what we can find. We've got quite a few hits, a lot of them ranging from 10 to $20. As I'm looking around, I think it'd be cool to know more about this manufacturer, which I've never heard of before. So let's head over to the dictionary and do another search for Stangle Pottery. Right away, we've got an entry by Harry Rinker, so we can learn a bit more of the backstory behind this piece. We can also do some research on Stangle in the blog and get even more information, some more articles we can read about this particular manufacturer. It's just a great way to get your research started. Finally, who can resist estate sale jewelry? So many cool pieces to check out. I just had to come over here and see all that this particular sale has to offer. Now this one I was drawn to because initially I thought that this little pendant was a deer with red eyes, which was very striking. But as I looked closer, I saw the letters B-P-O-E, which of course stands for the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks. So it looks like we are looking at a piece of Fraternal Order jewelry. Let's see what we can find on WorthPoint if we do a search for BPOE Elks Necklace. Near the top, one of our first hits is a decent sized lot of jewelry and it's all for just 15 bucks. So that's not a ton of money there. However, check this out. Here's a larger piece made with sterling silver, resold for around 250 bucks. We really are seeing a large range of prices here, anywhere from $10 to 50 bucks and even into the hundreds. Seems like so much depends on the size of the piece and the quality of the materials. Even though not all of these pendants resell for a whole lot, I think these fraternal order collectibles are just fascinating. It's fun to do a bit of basic research to see which designs might sell for more, just so you can keep your eyes peeled for these in the future when you're at your next estate sale. Finally, for those of you who have never heard of the Elks before and are totally new to the world of fraternal orders, you can just go down to the dictionary tab and do a search for the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks. We can see that suggestion popping up here. And it's taking us to a couple of articles that offer a little bit more background. We can click on this one by Harry Rinker and hear a bit more about the history of the Elks, how they've changed over the generations, and also see some images of other fraternal order items. Thanks so much for shopping with us, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the WorthPoint channel so you never miss a shopping trip. 
Until next time, keep thrifting.